What's up, Burn fam? It is Brian with a Y, back, back, back at it again with a 45-minute slide class with weights. So go ahead and grab some dumbbells or whatever you may have at home. We're going to do low end around 10 up to high end 30 plus, right? So go ahead and have those at your side. You're going to need that board. Grab those booties, some water or whatever you like to drink while working out, and we'll get things going. Right? So starting off with that warm-up, we're going to do some jumping jacks. So go ahead, arms up, overhead, light on those toes. If you're not jumping today, just give me a step out as you bring those arms on up. Right? So we're just getting things going. Want to make sure our body is good to go because it's 45 minutes. It's a good chunk of time we're going to be working today. Right? So we want to make sure everything is feeling good. Good, short warm-up to get us there. From here, we're going to go into some lateral hip openers. Three. Two, one, all righty, feet nice and wider than shoulders. We're going to come down to the side, sink into that hip, and then alternate sides here. Now, if you want, you can have your hand on your hips. I like to do little pulses while I'm, while I'm here. Helps me sink a little bit deeper each time. Want to try to think about keeping a flat back. Hips are going behind you the entire time. Good. We got another move coming on up. It's a little combo. Three. Two, one, all righty. So we're going to squat it on down, walk those hands forward, come into your high plank, squeeze the glutes. You walk it back in, find that deep squat, stand it on up. Let's go, let's go. So we're keeping those shoulders nice and strong while we do that walk out. Really squeeze those glutes for a second or two at the top of that plank. Stand it up, get that butt down, chest up. So we're standing in that squat position. Uh, we're going to go back to our jumping jacks in three, two, one. Let's go. Now, this class will be a fun journey on how short my shorts can get by the end. <laughs> uh, we'll have a tally in the, on the side. Keep these going. We got that lateral hip opener coming up again. You got three, two, one. Feet nice and wide. Take your time. You can come down, pretend you are skating on that board here, or once again, you can have your hands on that knee. Pulse it out if you want. If you want to just sink down into it, you can also do that. Stay here for a couple seconds. We're going to be coming into that walkout squat combo. You got 10 seconds here. Really, really push that butt back. Feel those hips opening up. Three, two, one. Good, stand it on up. We squat it on down. Sink into those heels. You walk it out to that high plank position. Squeeze your glutes for a second. Walk it back in. Stand it on up. Keep that going. Couple more here. After this, we're going to be moving on to the good stuff. We got a fun class today. I'm really excited. <laughs> I hope you become excited as we go along, as I bring you into the class that I programmed for today. One more here. Good. Walk it in, stand it on up, and we're going to move on. So go ahead and take a seat on the floor, grab those booties, get them on your feet. We're going to be starting on the board today. Just make sure they are good and snug. As soon as you're ready to go, meet me on that board. We're going to start things off with a tall slide here. So adjust the shorts. Come onto that side bumper, lift that knee, drive to the side. So getting some nice momentum here, getting acquainted with that board, right? We're going to spend a couple of seconds here, and then we're going to go into some skaters. So we got a little sequence playing with levels here. So we're going to be getting down nice and low, always coming back to a full standing position. We got some resets. So skaters coming up in three, two, one. Hands behind you on that lower back. We lean forward a little more side to side here. So we're nice and chill. We're just getting started here on this board, right? So we're not going hardcore, just gliding across that water, taking it easy. Now we've got some taps with a stand coming on up. We're going to be starting those on the right side of the board. You're going to meet me there in three, two, one, so stand it up, we slide to the side, we come down low, reach for that bumper, stand it on up, 
right? So come down nice and low, hinge at the hips, stand it on up. If you can't reach the bumper, that is okay. You just reach across, get as low as you can, and then slide back. So we're aiming to get below that knee with that reach, right? Good. Keep that going. Really pushing off that bumper to return to that standing position. That's it. Now we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, we got full minute intervals here. We're going to work this side, then we're going to switch to the other side because we got to make it even, and then we change it up. A couple more seconds. You're going to be meeting me on the left side of your board. We stand it up in three, two, one, stand up, other side. So we come down low here, reach for that bumper, stand it on up. Again, if you can't come all the way down to reach that bumper, just do what feels right today, right? We want to aim across and to that knee or lower. And then we just stand it back up. Good. So while you're doing these, I want you to make sure you're keeping that core engaged. That's how we protect that spine. We're really sinking those hips behind us and doing what feels good in this moment right here, right? Really exploding off that bumper. If you need to take a moment, you take that moment when you reset in that tall standing position. Now from here, we're gonna do taps, keeping it low, going side to side. So you're gonna meet me on that right side in three, two, one, alrighty, so we sink down low, we tap, come up, over, tap, up, over, tap. So we're really playing with those levels here, keeping it nice and low. Now listen to your body. If you want to stay super low here, you certainly can. You can also come up a little bit higher, sort of like you're resetting and coming back down. Whatever is going to work for you in this moment right here, right now, I want you to do that, right? Still, we're not taking it too hard. We're not overexerting ourselves. We're still just getting acquainted with that board. That's it. We have a nice reset coming our way. Keep reaching across. You've got five. Tall slides in three, two, one, stand it up, and tall slide across. This is your reset moment, so enjoy it, right? Deep breaths in and out. You can have your hands on your hips. You can have them at your sides, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're just going to stay here for another 15 seconds. Then we're going to get into that skater. So how are we doing? I want a two-way conversation, right? What's going on? I'd love to hear about that. All right, we're going to get into our skaters in three, two, one. Hands behind that lower back. We go a little lower, side to side. Bringing those feet together every time. We're always looking slightly in front of that board. We're going to be doing that tap on one side again. We go through this entire sequence one more time, and then we move on. Meet me on that right side of your board in three, two, one. Stand it up. We tap across, get nice and low, stand it on up, just like that. Good. Listen to that body. Maybe you're getting a little warm now, and you can sink a little deeper. If not, you just reach as low as you can. I gave you those modifications for a reason. If you felt like you had it, and suddenly, you know, you're thinking, mm, I did a lot of work yesterday, my back's feeling stiff, then just go ahead and stop right below that knee. We're going to do the same thing on the other side in just a couple more seconds. Always keeping that breath under control. We're not struggling to talk here. Ten more seconds. You meet me on that left side of your board. Three. Two, one, stand tall. Same thing, other way. Reverse, reverse, right? It's like we're playing Uno. We just drew that reverse card. Favorite thing. You know, apparently, the kids these days are using reverse cards in casual conversation. When someone says something rude, 
They just draw out a reverse card. <laughs> Kids these days, I can't keep up. Keep that going. We're about halfway through these on this side. Always resetting at the end. We got those low taps on both sides coming on up. 15 seconds. Make sure we're staying nice and center on that board. We're not going crazy all over the place. Eight seconds. We take a second, we stand up all the way, and we go tapping on both sides. Three, two, one, stand up, reset. Let's go. Tap, tap. Now, like I said the first time, you can stay low, you can come up a little higher as you go across, you can even reset and sink down if that's what's working for you today. Whatever feels right in the moment. Good, we're here for about another 30 seconds. And then I've got some good news. We're gonna be taking a break from the board and laying on our backs. So let's work for that moment, right? 20 seconds here. Perfect. Just gonna give you a moment to tune into your breathing, 10 seconds. You've got three, two, one. Good, step off that board, deep breath in. Adjustments if you need it. And we sit down and take off those booties. Good work, grab some water if you need it. Now is the time to do it. Don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna sit here, crisscross applesauce. Cheers. So grab your weights. It's time to do some strength work. Now, like I said, on the low end, 10s, high end, 30 plus. We're gonna be going through four moves and we're gonna hit those bad boys three times through. Now we're gonna be changing most of these moves a little bit each time we come back to it. So make sure you're paying attention. We're gonna be starting off with a wide chest press, three second descent here. So we're going to go ahead and lay down, weights are over your chest. We're going to come down three, two, one, we press it back up over that chest. So let's go ahead and get in position. We're starting in three, two, one, let's go. So it's down, two, three, press it up. Good. So we wanna make sure we keep those weights over that chest, not over our neck, not over our face. Yeah, we're getting into some sketchy territory there. We're allowing those elbows to come down a little bit away from the shoulders. We don't want a straight line across. So think more like 45 degrees. Nice and slow on the way down, explode back to the top. Keep these going. We're really working endurance here. We've got one minute sets that we're gonna be hitting. Now next up, we're gonna go into some core. We've got some crunches. Just giving you the heads up, keep these going. You can keep both those weights. You can drop to one or you can drop to none. We're going to do some regular old crunches. Keep these presses going. I'm just gonna demo one. We bring those shoulders up, we breathe out, and we breathe in as we come down. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So we crunch it up, control it on the way down. Like I said, you could have two weights, one weight, no weight, that is perfectly fine. I just want you to make sure you're focusing on your breathing. We breathe out, as we crunch it up, shoulders up, lower it back against the floor, control it on the way down. We're keeping those feet planted on the ground. They're not going anywhere, at least not yet. Really take your time. Try not to just flop back to the floor, right? As we get tired, it becomes so tempting. Don't let it happen. Couple more here. We're gonna be going back to a chest press variation. So we're going back and forth between that upper body and core. Keep these going. We're gonna be pressing those weights together as if they are one, we're doing a close chest press. So we're gonna bring it down, slow three seconds, press it up. Join me here, let's go. So it's three, two, one, press it up. Keep those weights over your chest, elbows are tucked in. We're gonna get more tricep work here along with chest. And the key here, 
is you want to press those weights together as if they are one, right? So you want to create that tension. If your arms are shaking, you are doing it right. Yeah, so press those weights together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three seconds on the way down. Explode it back up over that chest. That's it. Keep these going. We've got one more move to add on. If you've been following the sandwich, we've got to do core, right? And we're doing sit-ups. I like to call it the palate cleanser. So with these sit-ups, you can hold on to a weight or you can drop completely. We're just going to sit it up all the way and back down. We transition in three, two, one. Carefully put those weights down if you're not using them. We sit it on up all the way, touch the floor, control it on the way down, making sure those shoulders come all the way back to the floor. Breathe out on the way up, nice and controlled on the way down, rolling through that spine. Now, as you get tired, or maybe even right now, you don't even notice it, you're going to want to throw your arms and use that momentum to get you up. Uh-uh, -uh. try not to do that. I'm going to challenge you, right? Keep those arms in front of you if you find yourself doing that a lot. Sit up nice and tall at the top, control it at the bottom. If you're holding onto a weight, I want you to keep that close to your chest. We like to throw that forward as well. You want to hold it like it's your child. Keep it close to your chest, right? Ten more seconds here, and we're going to go back to the top, those wide chest press, except this time we're going to do a one-and-a-half press. So you're going to be grabbing your weights in three, two, one. Grab those weights. So we're going to go down all the way, no tempo, come up halfway, Back down, up all the way. Join me when you're ready. So we go all the way down, halfway up, bring it back down together. So we're getting a nice half rep in here. Because we're coming from the bottom, we can't use any sort of momentum here. Just adding some more tension onto that chest press, right? Everything else still applies, though. So find those angles. We don't have those elbows directly across from the shoulders. We keep the weights towards more of our chest rather than our face, right? So keep these going. We're going to be returning to our crunches. Those will also have a slight variation to them. Five more seconds. Once again, you could hold both weights, one weight, no weight. We're going to lift our legs, dead bug crunch. Three, two, one. So 90 degrees, we crunch it up and control it on the way back down. If you need that variation with one weight, just hold it with both hands, crunch it up, back down. No weights is also an option. As you come back down, try not to let that weight wander back here, right? You want to keep it strong and stacked in front of us. Now, I'm not letting my legs move. If this is still too much for you without any weights, that's OK. Take it a step back, ground those feet again. You're right back to stage one, and that is perfectly fine. That is just where you're at today. <sighs> Keep it going. We're going to be grabbing that weight, going back to some presses. That close press is coming your way. Keep these going. I'm just going to demo what's coming next. So once again, we're going to do a one and a half rep. We press those weights together. We go down all the way, up halfway, down and full. In three, two, one, join me here. So all the way to that chest, come up halfway, down, all the way. These will really get you good, especially if you're staying true to pressing those weights together as if you could turn them into one thing, right? So create that tension for that chest, really getting those triceps to fire up. Good. Couple more here and we return to our good old sit-ups, the reset. So working for that moment, you got about 20 seconds here. Hold on to it. Make sure you're keeping those shoulders relaxed. If at any point holding on to both weights becomes too much, you can also drop one and just keep it here like this for me, right? We do whatever we need to do to make sure we can keep moving forward. We got sit-ups coming in three, Two, one, weight comes to your side. We sit it on up all the way, nice and tall, roll through that spine. Remember, we're not throwing our arms forward. 
unless we absolutely need to, right? Sometimes we just can't help it. We want to try to take away any sort of help from our arms, from momentum, really engage through that core as we sit it on up. So like I said, nothing changes with these sit-ups. We're going to keep them the same the entire time because they are the reset. We've got one more set to get through. We're going to be going back to those wide presses. I'm going to show you keep these sit-ups going, right? So in a couple seconds, you're going to grab those weights. This time, there's nothing special with them. We're just going to rep it out. You go down and up, no tempo, no half reps, none of that, right? So you're going to grab those weights in three, two, one, grab those weights, get them over your chest, roll those shoulders back and down, and let's hit it. Down and up. Find a tempo that you can stick with. I find that usually helps me, right? Maybe think about a song, whatever song is playing on the app for you right now. If it's not too fast, maybe you can stick with that. Maybe hum your favorite tune. The ants were marching one by one, hurrah, right? the goodies. Keep this going. We've got those crunches coming back. Don't stop these. I'm just going to demo what we're doing with those crunches, right? So we've got that dead bug variation coming back. We're going to come up, hold it for three, two, one, bring it back down. So we've got a hold. If you need to modify, you can drop that weight. Do it just like that. If that's still too much, you can grab those feet. Try to give me that hold or just go back to step one yet again. That is fine. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Legs 90 degrees. We hold it up. Three, two, one. Bring it back down nice and controlled. Always breathing out as we bring ourselves up. Breathe in as we come back to the ground to relax. Good. Always take that moment to reset at the bottom. If you need to ditch that weight because you're finding too much tension in your shoulders, that is okay. I want you to take a moment and remember to bring them down and pull them back as we crunch it up. Beautiful. Keep those going. We've got that close grip press coming your way. Then we've got our sit-ups and we move on. We're almost done with this section. This is your longest working set that we have for today, right? So after we move past this floor section, it's gonna be easy, breezy, beautiful. We're gonna be grabbing both of those weights in a couple seconds. We got that close grip press up and down in three, two, one. Go ahead and grab them, pull those shoulders back, squeeze them together, let's go. Up and down. Again, find that tempo that works for you. If you want to focus on just staying slow and controlled, you can do that. I'm not going to penalize you for that, right? So you can go here, you can go faster, you can go slower, whatever feels right. We have just have those sit-ups coming up and then a nice water break. Stay with it. You've got about 20 seconds, and then we have a sit-up party. Good. Breathing in on the way down, out, as if you're blowing those weights away from your chest. Good. We got sit-ups coming up in three, two, one. Weights at your side or to your chest. We sit it on up, nice and controlled. Sit up tall, tap that floor to make sure you've made it to the top of the mountain, and bring it back down. You can bring your arms overhead as long as we're not swinging them forward, right? None of that. I like to do that just to make sure I'm getting my shoulders fully down to the ground. I bring them in front of me before I sit up. Great. Bring it back down. Almost there. Finish up these sit-ups. Good old water break. We're going to have a reset for those shoulders, too. You got three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and flip it on over for me. Give me a moment here. I want you to just get into a nice child's pose. Reach forward. Give a nice little love moment to those shoulders and thank them for all they've done so far, right? Because we've got more to do. When you're ready, go ahead and grab that water towel down. We're going to be getting back on the board, so go ahead and get those weights out of the way. Get those booties on, and we slide, slide, slide. So whenever you're ready to get back on that board, we're going to be starting off with some skaters. Now, this is a short amount of time that we're going to be on this board, relatively short. 
we got a nice little sequence between four moves that we're going to do. It's six minutes here, right? So let's go ahead and get set up when we are ready. We're going to meet on the side of the board. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Go ahead and hinge. Arms behind that lower back, and we skate. So we're in our skaters here. We're going to be spending a short amount of time on each of these moves, just 30 seconds. Next up, we're going to be meeting at the bumper. We've got some mountain climbers. We're going to go into some burpees with push-ups, and then a tall slide just to reset, right? So just enjoy this moment right here, getting reacquainted with the board, staying relatively low, nice proud chest. You're going to meet me over on the side of your board in five, three, two, one. Good. Let's face that bumper. We come into our high plank mountain climbers here. So we pull that knee in and fully extend that leg. Now, I want to stay relatively chill here. We're not going too fast. I want to focus on the control. <sighs> right? So we're staying fully stacked over those wrists. If you want, you can also have your hands off the bumper in front. That is totally OK, as long as you make sure that your shoulders are right over those hands. Keep this going. From here, we're going to be going into a burpee with two push-ups. So I'm just going to demo. We're going to bring those feet in. We stand it up, come back to our plank, two push-ups. Join me here. Let's go. So bring those feet to those hands. We stand it up nice and tall. Bring it to our plank. If you need, you can drop to those knees. Give me two push-ups all the way down. Love a good combo. Keep that going. We're still working that chest. Told y'all we weren't going to be done with it just because we're off the floor. Make sure you're getting those two push-ups. Double trouble. We got tall slides coming your way in three, two, one. Stand it on up all the way, get both feet on the side, and we just tall slide it out. This is your reset. We're going to do that all again three times through this sequence, right? So just take a moment here. We're going to go back into our skaters. Three, two, one. Let's go. Always coming back to that nice and controlled breathing. Now, with each lap that we go through, I want you to add a little more effort, go a little bit faster, right? We've got those mountain climbers coming on up. Meet me on the left side of your board in three, two, one. Alrighty, right into them. Find that high plank. We add a little oomph to it this time. Keeping that strong position here. Don't let those hips sink too low. And we just climb it out, just like that. Keep breathing. We got that burpee, two push-ups coming your way. We pull both those feet in, in three, two, one. Straighten out those legs, pull it into your hands, stand it up nice and tall, bring it back down, two push-ups. Thinking about bringing that sternum to that bumper. That's it. Beautiful. Remember, we get our nice reset after these. We work for that reset. Come on. You got three, two, one. Stand it up nice and tall. Tall slide whenever you're ready. Woo. Feeling good, huh? I feel a little more alive now. We were laying on the floor for a while, right? <laughs> Got to make sure we get that heart rate back on up. Feeling good. Blood is flowing. We got to go through that sequence one more time. So once again, we go into skaters. Getting those hands behind our lower back. We get nice and low. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bringing those feet together every time. Remember, we increase that exertion with each lap. So go a little bit harder, harder than that last round. Really push off that bumper. You got 10 seconds, and we're in those mountain climbers. Meet me on that bumper in three, two, one. Let's go. As soon as you're ready, we climb it out. This is the fastest mountain climber we've done. 
Let's go. Focusing on our breathing. Like we're taking a nice little yog through the park. That's it. Keep it strong. Come on, stay with me. Burpees with two push-ups coming your way. Three, two, one. Straighten out those legs. Pull it in. Sink those hips low before you stand it on up. Two push-ups at the bottom. That's it. Let's go, burn fam. Get those push-ups in. We work for that tall slide reset. Come on. You've got five seconds. Don't stop. Three, two, one. Tall slide. Nice and easy. Good work. Whew. Definitely got that heart rate up a bit more, right? At least I did. <laughs> Keep these slides going. Focus on bringing that heart rate down a little bit. <sighs> We're going to be getting off the board again. We got a nice little sequence with those weights. And then we finish strong on the board. So we're getting closer and closer to the end here. Stay with me. We're going to step off in three, two, one, and step off. Good, grab some water if you need it. Take off those booties. Wipe yourself down, a nice little light dab. I'll have some water with you. Thank you for having me here. Mm. Straight from the glaciers. Great. So let's go ahead and get set up. We're going to be using those lovely weights here. We've got reverse lunges to start, but we're going to do a nice little variation here. So you're going to lunge back. We hinge it forward. We do two rows at the bottom before we stand it on up. Now, if you need to, you can plant that knee on the floor for more stability, right? We love options. I got, I got options. All right, we're going to alternate legs. Let's start there. We're going in three, two, one. Let's hit it. We lunge it back, float off the ground, hinge forward, two rows. Let those weights come all the way down before you stand up. Now, by being in this low, forward leaning position, we're putting more of that weight on that front leg, which is exactly what we want here. It's doing more work for us. Now again, if you can't keep that knee floating off the ground, just plant it all the way, lean forward, give me those rows, stand it on up. There it is. Now make sure you're keeping that balance. You wanna take a moment in between each set to make sure you're good to go, right? We don't wanna be falling over. We come down nice and low, we hinge at the hips, we row it out nice and strong. Now keep those going, I'm just gonna show you what that next move is gonna be. We're gonna be doing a nice front squat with a pivot press. So feet about shoulder width apart, we squat it down, stand it up, pivot, press directly overhead, bring it back center. Meet me here, three, two, one, let's go. Weights are on your shoulders, we squat, Stand, pivot that outside foot, press overhead, squeeze those glutes, yeah? If that pivot is a little too much with both arms, just do one arm, the one that is facing forward as you pivot, yeah? Always got you with those options, right? Now make sure you're squeezing that glute every time you pivot. I wanna get that activation here. Arms are going straight overhead, never in front of us. A lot of times we like to bring those weights out in front, but we're gonna be so unstable, right? We wanna keep it fully stacked over our body every time we pivot. Couple more seconds here. We're gonna go back to those lunges. You got three, two, one. Take a moment, relax, roll out those shoulders. Let's get into those lunges in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and low. We lean it forward. Two rows. Stand it on up. Reset. Always seeing how low we can get with that back knee. You're taking enough of a wide step back so that we can keep those 90 degree angles. Too far, and it'll be a little tricky for you to stabilize. Too narrow. Same thing, right? Just want it just right. Couple more. Hopefully you're starting to breathe a little heavy like I am. <laughs> 
Just me? Cool. Love it. Heavy breathing, gang. We've got this. Three, two, one. Reset. Weights on the shoulders. We go right into those squats whenever you're ready. Front squat. Pivot. Press. Now pay attention to that foot, right? Every time I pivot, I turn on that one toe, squeeze that glute as we press overhead. If you need to drop to one weight, you can also do that. That is perfectly fine. Stay strong. Stay in it. You've got this. Tall chest every time we squat. Knees going out, tracking over those toes. Couple more here. I'll give you a little break, and we've got one more lap. Stay with it for five. Three, two, one, reset. Ooh, shake it out, shake it out. Don't be afraid to shake it out, get loosey-goosey. Reset, deep breath in and out. Let's go one more time. Grab those weights, reverse, low lunge, two rows at the bottom. Three, two, one, let's go. So this is our last time going through these, right? Make it count. Find that pace that's gonna work for you. Give me full reps here. Always resting at the top here, right? We don't wanna just collapse and let those weights come down to the floor, right? We reset at the top. If you need to take a moment, carefully drop those weights, and then we get back into it. Good. Just another five seconds. You've got three, two, one. Good, stand it up. Weights on the shoulders. Woo, feeling it. Let's finish this section. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat, pivot press. Core is engaged. Glute is tight. Keeping that chest proud every time we squat. That's it. Take your time. No need to rush. It's like learning to fly or falling in love. The great Jordan Sparks once said. Good, a couple more seconds here. 10 to be exact, I know we love numbers. Stay in it. You got three, two, one. Good, put those weights on down. Grab some water. Take a moment. Ooh, baby. Come on. I'm feeling it, right? It feels so good. Go ahead, quickly hydrate. Get those booties on. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna be finishing on the board. So this is our last section. We're gonna make it count. We're gonna start off nice and chill, and then we got a nice little burner at the end. See what I did there? Burner. You're like old news, you're not the first, all right? <laughs> Get set up on that board. Starting on one side of that bumper, we're gonna go right into tall slides. So whenever you're ready, let's hit it. Side to side. Now we're gonna add a knee drive here, focusing on some stability work, right? So keep these going. In a moment, I'm gonna have you drive that knee up before you slide across using that momentum we grab from raising that knee. Three, two, one, let's go. So lift that knee, find that balance, slide across that board. Take a moment here. We don't need to rush anytime we go through these, right? You wanna find that balance, make sure you're stable before you slide, right? Now from here, we're gonna go into a sprinter lift. So keeping similar mechanics, except we're gonna be low. So keep these going, I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. We're gonna come down into our sprinter position, we're gonna slide across, we bring that knee and chest together as we lift, bring it back down in three, two, one, let's go. So we're low. We're thinking about that chest and that knee coming together rather than that chest lifting with the knee. We don't want to open up here, right? Keeping it nice and closed off. This is a private party. Good. Really getting some work done in this low position. 
getting those muscle fibers to really turn on, finding that stability, keeping that core engaged. Anytime you need to reset, feel free to stand it on up. That is perfectly okay. Really bring that knee into that chest and press off of that board, really finding that momentum, that energy that we build from being in that low position, right? We're gonna go back to our tall slides in three, two, one, let's go. Back to that tall slide. Good. We're gonna do that one more time, and then we've got our finisher. So whenever you're ready, add that knee. You can keep your hands on your hips, you can have them at your sides, whatever works for you. Good. Really taking a moment here to focus more on that stability, accent, stability aspect, excuse my words, before we go ahead and finish things off, right? So if you can't get that knee too high, if you're worried about that balance, that's okay. I want you to just get that foot off the board. Every little bit works for me. We always work towards that next step in the ladder, right? Gives us something to drive towards. We're gonna get nice and low in that sprinter lift. Three, two, one. Get low here, slide across, bring that knee and chest together, we bring it across. So we're not going too far up here. Bringing it nice and crunched together. Good. Find that balance, take your time. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this moment to talk about what we're gonna finish with, right? So stay here a couple more seconds. We're gonna finish with a Tabata. So it's going to be 20 seconds of intense work followed by 10 second recovery. We're gonna do sprinters and tall slides. And that is all we're gonna have left. That is it. It's gonna be four minutes and then we get to relax, cool down and get out of here, right? So keep these going. We ain't there yet. Just wanna make sure you know what to expect. I'm gonna give you a slight moment to reset in your tall slide. Three, two, one, tall slide. All righty, so here we go. The last bit, sprinter for 20 seconds. Then we relax, recover, and go again. Three, two, one, push it back, let's go. So we're adding some intensity here. I don't want you to give me everything just yet because we're in it for the long haul, right? We're gonna be doing this a couple of times. Three, two, one, tall slide, good. Now this time, add a point more to your power. It's a little more, crank it on up. Three, two, one, let's go. Side to side, hit it, hit it, hit it. Always bringing those feet together on each end. 10 seconds, stay strong, work for that reset. You got three, two, one, reset. Nice. Deep breath. Ah, getting closer. Two more times, right? You've got this. Stay with me. Three, two, one, let's go. A little more effort. Yes. Stay with it. Come on. You got five. Three, two, one, reset. You got more in you? I think you do. You've done way more intense, right? Let's go again in three, two, one. Sprint it out. Sprint it out. Come on, burn. What do you have left in those legs? Get it out now. Sprinting side to side. You got five seconds. We ain't done yet. Three, two, one, tall slide. We ain't done yet. One more, let's go for one more. Make it your most intense one yet. Yeah? We're going in three, two, one, and hit it. Off at the races, come on. Side to side. Every bit of energy you have left, I want you to get it out now. Come on. You've got this burn. Do not stop moving. Keep pushing through. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Tall slide. Recover. Whoo! How are we doing? We doing all right? Yeah? We're going to finish here. 
We never want to go from 100 to zero, right? Let's just take a moment, side to side, catch that breath. If you need to slow it down a little more, slow it down a little more. You just did that work. You should be very proud of yourself. It's never easy to sprint like that. Short bursts of intense work. You're going to meet me off the board in three, two, one. Meet me off the board. Come down to your knees. Sit up nice and tall. I want you to put one hand on your heart, one onto your stomach. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Let it go through your mouth. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Let it go through your mouth. One more time. Deep breath in. Hold it, hold it. Let it go. Nice. Go ahead and bring those arms up overhead. Bring it back center. And you are done. Nice work, burn fam. 45 minute slide with weights. Ooh, that flew by. <laughs> Again, my name is Brian. If you need some more cool down, go ahead and check out our recovery videos, and we'll see you here soon.